Dan. And in Duval County, it's a day of cleanup. The river caused problems in Jacksonville. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott was all around the city today checking out the damage. And he joins us now from Memorial Park. Jim, yesterday, right where you're standing, you were in floodwaters there. What's it, it looks much better today, clearly. You know what a difference a day makes on this. As you can see, the river's calm. It's not coming over at this time. We are at low tide here. I was here earlier today and some problems. In fact, let me show you here at Memorial Park. Really, the park really held up well. They recently have blocked this segment off, I guess, basically because it's a mess. A lot of the sod washed out because they did a lot of repairs here. But for the most part, and I've been all around the city today, the event that was going to be along the river wasn't as bad as it could have been. Despite being flooded yesterday, Memorial Park and the renovations to the bulkhead appear to have held up. We did see some cleanup underway to the condos next to the park. This is what that looked like yesterday as the floodwaters lapped inside the entrance and service area. We were told it didn't do major damage and the waters weren't as high as they were during Irma. It was the same story down the street where we caught up with Larry Griffiths, who was cleaning up at a bed and breakfast. Larry, what was it like? Uh, just uh, over the night, just just uh, got a little high, come up the streets, come inside the building here. It didn't do quite as much damage as it has in the past, but we got it all cleaned up. Uh, so it's uh, not not nowhere near like it was before. <laughs> With Irma. And, I mean, you don't think there's anything that can really be done about this, right? No, I don't, I don't see anything that can be done about it. It's just uh, nature's taking its course. About one block of Riverside Avenue was closed during high tide today because of flooding, but for the most part, things went smoothly. So I'm also back here in San Marco. Here yesterday, this was underwater. This is LaSalle Street. Let me show you, they have this closed off. JSO has been out here throughout the day. And if you take a look, you can see that the flood waters are still here. They've got that blocked off in the area down here. And then we can take a look down here and you can see what's happened. It's not as bad as it has been in the past, but of course we're past high tide and we're going to have some flooding like this occurring throughout the weekend. Not far from San Marco in the South Shores neighborhood, the floodwaters came down somewhat, but the area was filled with debris as people left garbage cans in the storm, which were carried away and crews were there with vacuum trucks clearing storm drains. And in Springfield, along Hogan's Creek, the floodwaters are still causing some problems. Again, not as bad as yesterday, but the water is out of the banks, covering the roads in part of Springfield Park. And you know, as people were cleaning today, when they didn't get their trash picked up yesterday, parts of Jacksonville didn't have that happen. That makeup day is going to be tomorrow. For now, we're live in Riverside. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.